the nine rounds of thrilling racing but today we find out who will be world champion for season three it's between Verstappen, Perez, Hamilton and Valtteri Bottas here are the points one point between Perez and Verstappen ten points ahead of Hamilton and pretty much Bottas needs a miracle 25 points behind we've got a new engine Here's off the back of a ride. fantastic qualifying session it's time to see how our starting grid looks for today's race good job yesterday from Valtteri Bottas the fin starts from pole position edging out Sergio Perez who lines up P2 moving on to the rest of the grid we have Hamilton Leclerc George Russell and Stroll Mazepin Norris Vettel and Mick Schumacher. They've taken a grid penalty. Lundgaard, Joe, Carlos Sainz and Ocon. They'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. Ricardo, Verstappen, Pierre Gasly. They've taken a grid penalty. And Antonio Giovinazzi, Sonoda and Brown. That's it then. It's time to go racing as we head to trackside for today's race. So, Verstappen on the way down in 16th, it was wet and it seems to have caught him out. So he's going to have to do the driver this season if he wants to be a world champion. But we're going to find out as it's underway with the duel in Brazil. As we go down the inside into Tom 1, gain some places through the centre S's now. And we're on the back of Sebastian Vettel and... Mick Schumacher as it's, as it's the same as they got away but George is there has managed to jump as then Charles Leclerc as these two are still side by side in front of us Vettel as we've got past Mick Schumacher and now round the outside sorry that's the Alfa Romeo round the outside of Sebastian Vettel job done We are up into P10 in just one lap, so we've had an incredible start. Now we're on the back of Mick Schumacher in his house. Now we climb up the hill again. Are we going to be close enough to have a going into turn one? I hope so. London Norris fighting with the cat, might have been down the inside into turn one and it's dropped in there here is Lando struggling to get past um, the Haas there's there's Lance Stroll his engine's gone back here on lap two as we overtake Lando Norris on the inside but Lance Stroll is Brazilian Grand Prix it's gone out with a bang as he's out on lap two now here we come on the key to Mazepin we're going to sail round the outside at turn one through the center axis and it's job done and in three laps we have gone from stone dead last to sixth place here in Brazil that's one of the best starts I think I've ever done and it's a career mode as well as Lando Norris gets past Nicky to Maspin now and then Lando was right on his as we slip the grass coming out of the final corner and out through the final corner now in towards town one Lando has got past us that McLaren very quick we are in, the, in terms of the R&D right on the pace with McLaren one lap later this is Sebastian Vettel overtaking in the key to Mazepin. Mazepin and Neil Schumacher just going straight to the back as they have got the worst car on the grid. Vettel got him and it wasn't going to be long before Carlos Sainz got past Mazepin as well. As now here comes Sebastian Vettel on us. He's going to go to our inside. Has he got the job done? No! He's really going to cut him back up inside and retain that position. That was a great move of a DC, so myself and now Carlos Sainz 
He's got past Sebastian Vettel. The Vettel's not happy with one now. Later he's going to try and overtake him back. As we make contact with Carlos Sainz. Just like he did in Canada. He's absolutely sent it into turn one. What is he doing? This is the replay of how he defended Sebastian Vettel. We just waited and I saw the gap to the inside and we went for it with a lovely little dummy up the inside. Vettel went wide, signed Sora's challenge, went round the outside through the centre S's. And now here he is on the back of us. We're going defensive to the middle of the track. And then just like he did in Canada, sends it down the inside and hits us. This time though we didn't get spun round by him. Now here he comes on our outside. And this is personal. I haven't forgotten about Canada sites. So I don't think he realises that. But here comes Max Verstappen. Now on the back of Carlos Sainz. As it wants to give us the most awful camera angles ever. As Max Verstappen can't quite get past. As now Sebastian Vettel is going to try again now on us. I thought we had a decent pace in this race, but no, it was just the heart that given us false hope. It's down the inside. Vettel this time. Let's get the job done. It's now. His side's going to be close enough to have another go on us, but he's actually defending. So, um, Max Verstappen, he really needs to get through these cars if he wants to be a world champion. As it currently stands, Perez will be world champion, getting P2, which will be enough. Bottas is doing everything he needs to do, but I put ideally. And Verstappen overtakes this, Verstappen needs to retire, Hamilton needs to retire, and Perez needs to retire. And Bottas needs a fast slap to be a world champion, as Max Verstappen does overtake us into turn one. So here now comes Pierre Gasly up the inside of us. Gasly to defend the Alfa Tauri for one lap. But to go to the end, on lap nine now, he absolutely blitzes us out before we even get to the first corner. And now we're left defending sights yet again in this Grand Prix. As here he comes tight to the inside, we squeeze him into turn one, and there's contact again. And this time there's more contact, and now it's damaged our front wing. He still is his green, but look, we leave him so much space, and he oversteers on the curb, and oversteers straight into the side of us. Look, we left him the space, and then he just oversteers and hits us. And that gave us a little bit of front wing damage. As we go back on to the real life feed and down the inside. This will happen to our pace. I had no pace after that instance with size as long guard overtakes us. Just I couldn't turn the car into the corner. The, the the, the car's like, nah, there's not a corner there. But when you try to defend him, I've had enough of seeing his Alpine, to be honest, this year. After, after, um, Spa, Spa is down the inside. He tries again, and this time it looks like when you try has got past this on lap 13. But we're gonna send it down the inside. You don't normally overtake there. But we've made it stick and we retake that position as we've dropped out out of the points now pretty much. After that amazing start, gets up to six and three laps, we're now dropping like an absolute stone. So here he comes again, Kwan Yu Joe and Yuki Sonoda's waiting in the wings. As he drives around the outside before some wide and Yuki Sonoda slots through. And now he's on the back of us. And now through again, through the corner. And he actually, as we go a bit wide, he caught me. 
by surprise there and got me at the inside just like Lungard and said hey that was a good move but no on lap 25 I couldn't race with this front wing anymore I knew we were going to drop back but we're going to go into the pits put on the medium tyres to the end and also change this front wing and hopefully we have the pace to get ourselves back in this car right? Well, there we go and now out of the pits and we're probably going to come out between the two houses here we are there's behind the key to Mazepin and you can see us there in the background so we've lost and we're always going to lose time but we haven't lost that much time but not a lot really happened for us after that here it is then this is Bottas leading the race but it's still very much in Perez's hands but he has been jumped by Lewis Hamilton in his final Grand Prix of course as he's going to hang up his helmet at the end of this race as we now caught Nikita Mazepin and down the inside into turn one we get the job done and move up at that position is now Sergio Perez wants his P2 back after the start can even listen style and maybe get past Hamilton and then go for Bottas and win this title but as we skip on now into lap 30 and we had no pace we were quicker than the horses but we are lapped by Valtteri Bottas and it wouldn't be long before Lewis Hamilton I lapped us as well but he looked a little bit too, Perez looked a little bit too close to him so we blocked Perez for a couple more corners and then we let him through but the next one was the painful one but as Max Verstappen now then comes through as we now you can see behind us is our teammate And in the words of Martin Brundle from Monaco, that hurt. We are now a lap down, but we come on to the end. Bottas has done everything he needed to do. He wins the Grand Prix, Hamilton second. But it's this man, Sergio Perez, who is champion of the world for season four. I know it's been a rough year, but let's try to stay positive. Even the greats had some poor seasons, so we'll knuckle down over the winter and come back stronger next time. And so the celebrations begin, and well earned they are indeed. It may have looked simple at times, but as any racing driver will tell you, competing at this level, at the very top, is anything but simple. There's no catching them now then, we have a new World Drivers' Champion. Victory today then, but bittersweet emotions I'm sure, as the championship slips through their fingers. Even so, what a fantastic final race of the season this was. So after a magnificent race, we can now see the drivers making their way to the podium. Once again, it's the Silver Arrows who take top spot, a well-earned victory for Mercedes. Amazing talent out on the track today, but Anthony, who would you pick as your driver of the day? Well, you've put me in a bit of a tight spot today, but I think I'll go for Pierre Gasly. He kept a cool head under pressure and made the most of some difficult circumstances. And it's another title in the bag for Red Bull. After a long and hard-fought season, they built an astonishing car this year, and the glory they'll be taking back to Milton Keynes is fully deserved. Well, well done, Sergio Perez. You weren't expecting that at the start of the season. Perez picked up his first world title. Hamilton finishes Peter in the end. Verstappen, that engine penalty cost him the world title. And it's the double for Red Bull. For the first time this series, Mercedes haven't won anything 
of course, I wanted Hamilton to go out with his 10th title, but finishing his career with 9, very good. It's been a great season, but at the end of the day, it belonged to Sergio Perez. Goodbye.